In the previous video, we looked at common arithmetic and comparison operators. In this one, we look at the common Boolean operators. So there are three Boolean operators you need to be aware of and how you can use them in programming. And the first is not. So using our little analogy on the right, you can think of that as use an umbrella if it's raining, but not cold. A couple of typical ways you could use this, you could say end of file equals false. So that's setting a, a Boolean flag to false. And then you can say while not end of file, while not false. And this is the same as saying while end of file equals false. The next Boolean operator is and. So in our example, wear a coat if it's raining and it's cold, only if both conditions is true. So you can see here we've got end of file and we've set that to false and we've got another Boolean variable called found and we set that to false. We're saying while we're not at the end of file and not found, so not is equal to false, then carry out a statement. Both parts have to be true for the whole thing to be true. And the final Boolean operator is or. So with our analogy, catch a bus if it's raining or cold. And here's a couple of examples. You could use it in an if statement. So for example, if x equals two or x equals four, then run the code for the if statement. Or you could use it in the checking clause of a while loop. While choice is less than one or choice is greater than three. Only one of those conditions has to be true and the while loop would execute. You can also use this concept to create an infinite loop. So you could simply say while true. Boolean operators, as you can see, are used in what we call Boolean expressions. And we see these in if loops and while loops and do until loops. So if a Boolean expression is true, then run some code. While this Boolean expression is true, run some code. Do the following code until this Boolean expression is true. And it's called a Boolean expression because that expression equates or evaluates to either true or false. And also in them, we can use the Boolean operators. So if this and this or this, but not that. And we combine them in a wide variety of ways. Now, you might already be aware that these Boolean operators and or are not that you can use in the Boolean expressions of selection and iteration statements also have matching logic gates. We're going to be studying that in more detail, along with the extra logic gate you need to know about for GCSE XOR in the topic SLR 11. <music>